Hey guys, it's X, and recently my buddy Dre Senpai brought something very troubling to my attention, and it affects you guys too, in a very negative way. Right now, there's a bill being run through the US legal system called Bill S-978, and that bill threatens to take away our ability to upload video game footage, all of our Let's Plays, all of our reviews, things like that. They want to make it a felony. That means people who upload Let's Plays or video game reviews or any, of the, any other kind of video game footage would be fined a large sum of money or sent to prison for upwards of five years. Now, nobody's going to be sent to jail for the stuff we have online before the bill passes into law. But we would have to remove all of our previous content. That means all of my videos and all the videos of all the other video game related channels you follow would simply disappear from the internet if this bill passes. They would have to. They'd have to take it down or go to jail. The only people who would be allowed to upload video game footage are those who got exclusive rights from the game's creator or publisher to do so. That means to upload more, let's say, Crisis 2 footage, because that's what I'm doing right now, I'd have to contact the company Electronic Arts and get specific permission to upload a playthrough of that game. If I wanted to upload more Half-Life 2, I'd have to contact Valve. If I wanted to upload more Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft, I'd have to contact Blizzard or Activision Blizzard or whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to say Blizzard because they've always been Blizzard to me and just Blizzard. But uh, what do you think the chances are that any one person could email one of these big companies and actually get a favorable response, if any response at all? EA, Valve, and Blizzard all have a certain number of staff members, just a small number of people, relatively small compared to all of us, handling incoming emails and calls. And you can bet, and, and even smaller than that is their legal division. So you can bet that there are thousands of requests such as these that are getting denied or completely ignored every day already. It's not because these companies are bad companies or the people who work at them are bad people. They just don't have the manpower to keep track of all of us. That means the only people likely to get permission to upload video game footage if this bill passes are those who would hire lawyers to help them get to the company's legal divisions and request and hopefully obtain legal permission to upload a playthrough on the internet. And there's a lot of trouble. <laughs> that is just a lot of trouble right there to just upload a Let's Play. Plus, you have to pay the lawyer, too. So you have to invest much more of yourself into actually getting this done. And it just makes it much more difficult for people to actually do Let's Plays or for new people to do Let's Plays. Um, it, it just discourages the community as a whole. Now, let me be clear here. Bill S-978 is not intended to take away our right to upload our Let's Plays. This is a side consequence of this bill. It's not intended to hurt us. The bill was written to protect, quote, copyrighted material from being illegally performed or displayed online. Basically, what that means is that the bill wants to make it so people who uh, make it so people can't stream episodes of Lost or Family Guy on Livestream.com or upload whole movies like Lord of the Rings or Iron Man to YouTube. The bill also aims to protect music videos and copyrighted songs by musical artists. Um, these all these things, TV, film, and music, these are all creative works made by people in the TV, film, and music industries so that they can make money. So streaming them for free to large internet audiences should be illegal and punishable, and that's what Bill um, S978 is all about. It's about making it pu a punishable offense to freely stream these things that were copyrighted by other entities, and that's what and that's what that bill aims to protect. It aims to protect those copyrighted materials, those copyrighted materials. Okay, the problem here is how the bill is worded. Again, it aims to protect copyrighted materials from being streamed or put on YouTube. But that's a very broad term, copyrighted materials. Video games are copyrighted materials, and therein lies the whole problem. The bill, if passed into law, will inadvertently make it a, fel uh, make it a felony for all of us gamers to do what we do on YouTube, to do the stuff we love here on YouTube and on our live streams, like Justin TV, which is where I stream. Um, the source of the problem here is that the people who have written this bill simply don't understand the internet and what we're doing on it. I agree that in the case of TV, film, and music, streaming and uploading stuff to YouTube is a bad thing and it hurts those industries. But in the case of video games, we Let's Players and viewers are a big part of fueling the growth of our industry, of the video game industry. And let me briefly explain that. When it comes to a TV show, Putting it on YouTube means the viewer does not have to watch that show on TV and therefore will often avoid uh, all the associated commercials and advertisements that come with watching that show on TV. And it also means that the viewer is most likely not going to go out and buy any DVDs of that show. I mean, why would they if they can simply see it online? That's why it hurts the TV and film industry because viewing it for free online means that they don't have to pay for it, uh, pay to view it elsewhere or watch advertisement to view it elsewhere. But what we do... Uh, but we, we as gamers, we do actively help the video gaming industry as Let's Players and as viewers. Did you know that as the law stands right now, any video game company at any time could say, Hey X, or 
Hey Machinima, or Hey The Game Station, cease and desist putting our game footage online. Yes, any video game company can already do that right now, today. But they don't, and they don't because we Let's Players drive their sales upward. Every video game company wants someone like Total Biscuit, or CNatters, or Tobuscus to pick up their game and showcase it to their audience, because some of us Let's Players have very sizable audiences, and that for video game companies is free and powerful advertising. It's the new form of word of mouth. It's like whenever you, as a kid, bought Mortal Kombat for your Super Nintendo and you told your friends about it and like four or five more people bought it because you told your friends about it or because they got to see you play it at your house. That's exactly the same thing that we're doing but on a much broader scale here on the internet. You see, a video game, unlike a TV show or a movie, is not a static experience. When you watch a show or a movie, you're going to get the same experience as anyone else watching it. But when you watch a Let's Player play a game, you know you can buy that game and have that same experience yourself, but in your own way. For example, when you watch me play Crisis 2, you could see me go, uh, you, give me, you could see me switch on cloaking and quietly bypass some enemy troops in an area, you know, hide around behind trees and stuff, sneak around, and then get to my objective. And you might think, man, I would have just switched on maximum armor and mowed them all down. Or you could see me playing a game like Magicka and see me using a lot of cold and lightning beams and think to yourself, I'd rather just use haste and arse mines there, you know, so you could do it your way. Thoughts and ideas like these and seeing someone have fun with the video game are the types of elements that drive viewers to become buyers. This is part of why video game companies do not send cease and desist letters to Let's Players. The other part, I think, of why video game companies don't do that, why they don't tell us to stop, is because they know that we love it. The video game industry is heavily populated by younger people who are internet savvy and who grew up with video games in their lives. These people know that they create video games for their living, yes, but they also create these games to spread their love of their craft and the fun of just playing video games to others. I like to think that that fellow human interest is the larger part of what drives video game companies to allow us to continue playing their games for others to see and enjoy online. But if this new bill passes, as it is worded now, Video game companies won't have control over that anymore. If it passes into law, Bill S-978 will make it a felony to upload video game footage and or, or, and or stream it. And at that point, the government itself, not the game companies, but the government, will have the legal right and responsibility to prevent us from uploading Let's Plays or streaming gameplay of any kind like playthroughs or tournaments. Again, hurting us and what we do is not this bill's intent. They, they did not aim at us with this one. Its intent is to protect TV, film, and music from being freely displayed online and to prevent the people committing this piracy from making money off that act. Now, just as a side note, the way this bill is worded also affects more than just video games. I focus heavily on the video game aspect because, well, that's what I do, but the bill's wording says that they want to stop, and I quote, public performances by electronic means, unquote. And it does not go into detail about what would be considered a performance. This means that let's say you have a daughter or a niece or a cousin uh, or someone like that in your life that you recorded with your video camera singing her adorable little version of Lady Gaga's song Poker Face, you know, just whatever, in your living room. Or maybe you have a video online of your high school talent show performance of Grease Lightning. Let's say you did that with your friends, uh, you won first place, whatever. Bam! Those would both be considered, quote, public performances by electronic means of those quote copyrighted materials poker face and grease lightning and it's like rawr you've committed a felony by uploading those videos you know you can't do that because the little girl singing poker face and you guys performing grease lightning uh, for your talent show are public performances and you, you transmitted them by electronic means by uploading that's a felony according to this bill as it is worded it's currently not a felony but that's the kind of stuff you see on youtube all the time or on the internet in general you see all kinds of stuff like that uh, and sometimes those videos go viral and it's awesome it's a big part of what we have come to love and learn about the internet so yes this this bill is so broadly worded that it affects many aspects of your love for the internet, including our right to play video games and upload our experiences in doing so with our Let's Plays, our commentaries, our playthroughs, uh, our streams, our tournaments, all that stuff that we do. So to protect our right to continue making Let's Plays, reviews, tournaments, and any other kind of video game related content, Bill S-978 must be drastically revised or stricken down altogether. Below in the video description, you'll find several links, and among them is a link where you can fill out a short form that will automatically voice your opinion to several key places in the government about how strongly you feel against this bill. I urge everyone 
who watches this video to use that form to protect our right to continue making Let's Plays and streaming our favorite games and to protect your right to continue viewing them because without us being able to make them, you guys can't view them. Tell everyone you know, rally behind this cause. Remember that people who made this that the people who made this bill are not out to hurt us. But if we say nothing, they will hurt us and we must educate them on how what they're doing is going to negatively impact a colossal part of what we've come to know and love as a community, both on the internet and as people. So everybody, check out that link in the video description. Thanks for watching. You'll find not only that form down there in the video description, but I've also included links to a blog entry written by Ultra David on shoreyoucan.com about this topic that further explains what this is all about, and a video by DSP Gaming, who also goes into further detail about this topic. So if you need more information about it, if you need some more clarity, there's a blog entry and a video also linked in my video description for this one. This stuff is important. If any part of your day is spent uh, enjoying uploaded or streamed video game content, please act. All right. So... Uh, again, and I, a lot of people are saying this part whenever they explain it. I don't mean to be an alarmist about this. This bill is in the very, very early stages uh, of being passed into law. Uh, it's still got a long way to go before it actually does become a law, but we've become informed about it early. We know that it's out there. We know that it's a possibility, and it's a very real threat. So uh, there's no need for panic right now. There's no need for anybody to uh, raise up in arms about it, because remember, the bill is not intended to hurt us. Um, the people who wrote it just don't know what's going on in this younger scene. Uh, so the bill is not intended to hurt us, and it's still got a long way before it goes and gets passed into law. So this is our chance. We need to get to it early. So, again, use that link in the video description. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.